Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie. Yeah, don't look at my hair. This is the Miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead. And today I'm going to try something I swore I'd never do, but I am going to. I am going to make spreadable butter using olive oil. Here's how we're going to do it. Okay, so what we have here is one cup of room temperature butter. It has to be room temperature. Okay, and we're going to get that whipping. You're going to need salt too. Now you don't have to add salt if you don't want to, but um, you may not like the taste otherwise. So let's just scrape down the sides here. We want this whipped and fluffy. Now we're going to take three quarters of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. You can use sunflower oil or a lighter oil, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. And we're just going to drizzle a little bit in there and let it wet. Scrape down the sides and let it wet. Just drizzle a little more. Scrape down the sides. Now this apparently will rem this will remain spreadable even after it comes out of the refrigerator. Oh, I found my angle, I think. And now we will add maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. This is my solution to margarine. I won't have um, hydrogenated fats and oils in my home. They're just not good for you. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm just going to scrape it down one more time because we want to make sure we get all the oil um, emulsified into that or whipped into that butter. Now, isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Now, I'm going to, I got two tubs out here, but I don't think I'm going to need them. This is kind of a two cup tub, and there it is. I will put this in the refrigerator. And there is our spreadable butter. Much healthier than margarine. And it spreads your butter farther. You can use this for baking too. Spreadable butter makes your butter stretch. And it also makes it healthier. Take care. God bless.